Hi, this is Mike, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to export your quizzes from one Blackboard site to another. Well, the first thing that you have to realize when you're dealing with quizzes is that there are two sec sections to a quiz. There's the actual quiz, and then there's the deployment of a quiz. You can't export the deployment of a quiz. Um, that you will have to redeploy when you've exported it into your new Blackboard course site. That said, let's say that I've built a quiz and I want to export the raw quiz to a new Blackboard site. Um, so I've got this quiz here, and when I export it, I can export all my quizzes and everything actually in packages and utilities under the control panel. So I'm going to go to my control panel on the left hand side here and go to packages and utilities. And I'll scroll down a little bit, and you'll see export archive course and I'll click on export archive course so now I'm gonna choose export if I chose archive it would just make a big archive but I wanna export only my quizzes so I'll click on export and if I scroll down you'll notice I have a bunch of course materials I can select here in segment 3 and I could choose the quizzes content area that I built, but that wouldn't actually help because that's where I've deployed my tests. What I want to do is I want to grab the tests, surveys, and pools area right here at the bottom, and I'll click on submit. So again, I choose only the test surveys and pools. I could export everything, but I just want the, the tests right now. I'll click on submit, and then I'm going to wait for that to archive. It should take I don't know, depending on how big the test is or the, the, the series of tests that you have, it could take a little while. Um, if you want to check, you can click the little refresh icon here at the top of the menu and see if that package appears. And I'm just going to pause the video and we'll wait for that to uh, finish downloading, to finish archiving. Okay, so it took just about um, a minute to uh, create that archive. And before I download the archive, I want to make sure that this is actually a complete archive. And the way I do that is if I click on the little chevron next to the zip file, I click on View Detailed Log, and that shows me all the information I need. The operation export has completed. I'm looking for that language because I want to make sure that it actually has completed. So I'll click on OK here. And now I can download this uh, zip file and I'll just click on it to download it. It'll ask me where I'd like to download it. I'll save the file. I'll just put it right on my desktop. And once I've got that, I can upload it into a new course site, and that'll be the next step. So I'll just pause the recording, and we'll go to another course site. So here I am in a new course site that I want to import that package into, um, the test package. So the first thing I'll do, I'll scroll down in my control panel and I'll go back to Packages and Utilities and I will choose um, Import Package. So now I'm going to import the package that I created in the other Blackboard site. I'll click on Import Package and this is the course that I'm importing it into and now I just have to select that package. I'll browse I'll see if I can find that package. Here it is. And now I decide what I want to import from that package. And what I want to import is basically just the test surveys and pools. I'll click on that. Click on Submit. And it should just take a second. And now that's been successfully queued. When I go to my file, when I go to my course tools and I go to my uh, test surveys and pools you will see under tests that test is there ready to be deployed and then you can deploy it like you normally would deploy a test that's it 